What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bass Channel. I'm Jeff with Burley Fishing. This Hi. joker right here is Paul with Burley Fishing and we are out on the river. Actually got a buddy of ours, Ethan Duvetter from Mule Fishing, also known as Fish Anything. Way up river, smacking smallies. You can't see him, he's around the corner. But today I wanted to talk about one of my absolute favorite rigs, but also one of the best things that I love fishing on the river, and that is the old deadly Nedley, the Ned rig. This thing is fantastic. If you wanna get on some smallmouth, you gotta stretch a river, kind of like what we're dealing with here. We are in the Midwest, we are in Michigan. This is one of my favorite ways to catch them. And today, we actually happened across a uh, awesome cold front, you know, fantastic cold front came in last night and freaked these fish out. It's 51 degrees, as you can see by the sonar there. Water temp is 51 degrees. Air temp is also 43 degrees. It's not great. So it's a bit chilly. We've been dealing with some tough conditions. So essentially these fish are hugging the bottom and what's working the best for me, in fact, all the fish I caught today was on some sort of Ned and specifically with this tapered head. So this is a Z-Man finesse bullets head in a little bit of a lighter weight, somewhere around like three eighths. I can't even remember. I just have so many of these at this point, but a little lighter weight. So it drifts well, and it's just gonna kind of bump across the bottom. This has been working in all sorts to water depths so it's fantastic and i want to talk about a few of my favorite fishing plastics to throw on a ned paul's fishing right over me right now well you're in front of the good spot not distracting at all so i want to talk about some of my favorite plastics to throw on this thing and maybe a few different types of jig heads that i like to use depending on the location where we're at so let's get into that in this video As always, you guys, be sure to subscribe to the Monster Bass channel. This is where Monster Bass is going to amazing creators that really know a lot about fishing and can put you on more fish. So subscribe, you'll see tons of awesome videos from other awesome creators. And if you have an extra few seconds, pop on over to Burley Fishing, subscribe to these two jokers, and uh, come back Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We just started a new podcast called Aggressively Average Angler. Essentially, if you love collecting tackle, which if you're on the Monster Bass channel, I imagine you do, and you wanna get better at fishing all of that, we are bringing experts on our show every single week they're going to drop some knowledge bombs on you and you are going to catch more fish and have more fun so let's get into the ned rig shall we like i said tapered head has been fantastic here got a lot of rock right so if you use the standard mushroom head or even like this blockier head this is a z-man ned locks it's gonna get hung up a lot. So I tried this at the beginning of the day, pretty skinny water right now. The water is low, like super low. Uh, so much so that it's been really hard to pedal up river. Hey, Jeff, are your feet wet? My feet are wet. We've been getting out and walking in this 50 degree water. Not great. So yeah, I had to get away from that. If you have like a ball head jig or something, that could also do well today, but I've been just sticking with these tapered Z-Man bullets. Plastics I'm throwing right now, something that works really well just about anywhere in Michigan for me is Copper Truce from Z-Man. And this is the finesse TRD. It looks like a clawless craw, right? So if you had a craw who through battling smallies has lost its claws or whatever reason lost its claws, it's an easy meal for a smallmouth to pick up. So no defense for this guy. They're just gonna come up and snack on it real easy. Caught quite a few on that today already. The other thing that I like to throw, the other two things from Z-Man I like to throw would be the finesse craw. I actually caught my biggest fish of the day, two of them on this one right here. So this is in the molten craw color, nice and flashy. This orange bottom seems to be matching the hatch pretty good and they're keying in on it. You got little tiny defensive claws there, but it's so small that it just doesn't really pose a threat to them, which is cool. So that's been getting bites as well. And with these kind of like clear to stained uh, water conditions, especially once it gets deeper down around that bend, it gets quite a bit deeper. We get like this dark water. I'm throwing this guy. This is the Z-Man Turd Bugs, TRD Bugs. And it's got like just a little kind of flipping bait profile to it, a little tiny guy. And this is, I believe in California Cross. So we got this like flashy underside here, nice flashy red flake. It's absolute money. Um, caught my previous PB smallmouth on that, on the St. Lawrence when I was fishing with the Monster Bass team. So it's a great bait. Couple other options I like to throw in different profiles. One would be the Nico Helgramite. This thing is fantastic. This color is Black Aurora. It turns kind of purple. Once you get into like this kind of overcast condition, it hits the water, it gets into this like bright purple color, which is cool. So slightly color changing. That is a great profile, catches lots of fish. Also comes in a downsize profile now. They actually just released a new size. And then we got the leech. The leech is a fish catching machine. I do my best on drop shots. We're not allowed to drop shot on the river here in Michigan. So you can throw this on a Ned too. And does great. Another great option though, is this eclipse color. So nice and flashy, some gold, some copper, some red flake there, and this like green pumpkin base color. A Little bit bigger 
in profile than that Z-Man one. So I kind of like to go with the Z-Man over this, uh, especially right now when they've been a little bit more finicky and like hunkered up on the bottom. And then I actually have the man himself here of these baits. So this is a mule fishing donkey tail. It's another one of my favorite options, especially in this like chartreuse or maybe even like a green pumpkin or a uh, pasture fire <laughs> that's ethan over there he owns a company we fish these things a ton if you guys have followed our channel at all you know that we rock these all the darn time and if i can get kind of a moving bite i love to be paddle tailing that around it's real finesse paddle tail size so it can do really well mostly today i've just been rocking the bottom though with a little finesse trd and that's been doing best or the little z-man craw so that's what i got that's a ton of different net rigs you can throw in fact if you look at the side of my boat it's pretty much all i'm doing today i have all these other rods that i've been throwing we had some square bills I thrown uh, inline spinners, double bladed spinner baits, uh, all sorts of different stuff. Even went top water with some nice like whopper plopper looks, but no bites. So we're sticking to the Ned rig. Let's get out of the water for a little bit here. Show you guys how this is working for me. Let's do it. So Ethan's swimming a donkey on the bottom. Paul's throwing a tube. I'm throwing old confidence, but I'm probably gonna have to switch it to a craw. We're getting a little snaggy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bullet style Ned jig. What colors do I have? Yes, that's what I want. And if it doesn't work, I'll show you guys like pretty fun hack for these actually. Rip off one of the claws. Yep, there we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. No, <laughs> he popped off. I saw him. God dang it. That was a nice fish. Shoot. That was a nice. I saw him actually come up. I saw the bronze. It was right drifted over this section here. Got him. Got another one. This one we're getting. Oh my God. Jesus. He just took a run. <laughs> yes. Got him. Dude, that is a football. Yeah. <laughs> That's a heck of a fish. Second cast back in there too. I missed on that first fish, but there we go, dude. So that was on the Molten Craw from Z-Man. Oh man, that run he took on me when I reached for him was so good. <laughs> all right, again, that Z-Man bullet weight makes it so it's just that tapered head can just pull through all cover. You just gotta try and keep that line straight as you can. You're gonna catch these fish. Right where uh, Ethan is right now too is where we got a pool. So all under that tree, it's like a really nice pool you can fish. You need to fish this pool. Got him, no! Shoot. Rebuttal? Rebuttal! Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Yes! Dude, look at that, even bigger, leveled up, oh yes, bro, level up, level up, level up, there we go, feels good to be back, baby, gosh dang, I have missed these guys so much, all right, definitely a bigger, darker belly, love these bellies, just let her go. Oh yeah, zips right back. I'll let myself drift back here a little bit. Got him. This is my spot. My spot. Yes. Heck it, River. Bye. Oh. Yup. <laughs> oh my God. Little smallie. Dude, as soon as I cast, I saw him jump out of the water and then he grabbed it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Little guy. Get him back. Took a random cast at the middle. Sometimes that's the play. So with the Ned, what I find most productive is looking for these like lay downs, overhangs, a little bit of structure there. Cast it in with your drift and just let it go. Just let it, it's just tumbling down over these rocks, over sticks and logs. All right, folks, that was a heck of a day, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. It was. So uh, we're gonna be heading off the water right now, but as you can see, the Ned Rig can be absolutely phenomenal the on the river. And, and the tube. 
And if you want to hear about other fall baits, go watch that nerd's videos later. Holy cow, it is windy now. Ah. We got to go home. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If you want to throw some Ned Rig stuff, what is with this wind? Go try the Ned, drift it on the river. You guys are going to catch some fall fatties. Uh, good luck out there. Have a ton of fun. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the Monster Bass channel as well as Burly Fishing and then come back for our live Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Burly Fishing. We call it Aggressively Average Angler. So you can come back Thursday as well, 7 p.m. Eastern with Rick on the Monster Bass Live. So go check those shows out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.